with Lewandowski leaving, with Mane coming in, do you feel that Bayern's at a place where in Europe they can compete with the Man Cities, with the Liverpools, with the PSGs? Yeah, I definitely think that. Um, I think we still, you know, yeah, as um, an important piece left, but also an important piece arrived. And, you know, also um, incredibly good players um, like Noose and Brian also coming in the team. So yeah, I feel like we we have the team. We're strong enough to compete with all these guys. And, you know, we're looking forward to the Champions League. You know, that's, that's something that, you know, that really, really hurt us in the past, you know, um, exiting the Champions League so soon. So we're disappointed. And this year, I think every, every, everybody on the, on, the, on the team is hungry and we're ready for it. Let's shift to a little bit about Canada. Sure. And, you know, Canada qualifies for the first time since 86. You know, how do you feel as, you know, someone that was a refugee that came to Canada and obviously adopted the country, they adopted you, you adopted them, and then to be able to, you know, take them back to the World Cup? I mean, it's, it was an incredible feeling, you know, when we qualified. Um, you know, I was emotional because, you know, as a, as a footballer, you know, as a young footballer, you dream about, you know, going to the World Cup, playing for your country, and I'm able to able to make that happen, and I'm I'm happy for it. And uh, yeah, I mean, Canada adopted me, and you know, I'm trying my best to to say thank you to them. And yeah, I feel like I'm a I'm a full on Canadian citizen now. So did it also help when you, you know, went to Germany, understanding that, you know, guys like Paul Stolteri and McKenna and, and Friend all kind of had a, a presence in Germany before, but then that group was so good. Why could they not achieve in the qualifying success that this new group has achieved? Yeah, I think, um, I think for me, from my understanding, I think, uh, our our group that we have now is you know we're, obviously we're young, we're hungry and you know most most players are are incredible incredibly good players. I'm not saying like the the past generation weren't, but yeah, I mean for us is uh, we're excited. You know, um, going into the the playoffs, we told ourselves that you know we we can do it and we believed it and that's what we did. I noticed something calling a lot of MLS games that when over these last three, four years compared to five, six years before, the Canadian teams now, their roster is filled with Canadian players. I didn't remember that <laughs> earlier on. Is the talent level just now getting broader and catching up and maybe this, the Canadian squad has a lot more options than maybe... Yeah, Ten years ago. Yeah, I mean, right now, you know, we have a uh, we have the CPL, you know, our, own, our Canadian our Premier League. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's Canadian talents everywhere. I think they just needed a a base to to show themselves, and and the CPL is helping with that. You know, um, with all the with all the Canadian players coming through now, you know, you can see that we, you know we have we have talent of on this side, and and we're excited. We're we're looking forward to the future. So, what's the goal for the World Cup? I mean, obviously, the goal, as everyone knows, is uh, to win it. That's the goal for everybody. But uh, what's for, the realistic goal for yeah, Canada coming into the World Cup? Yeah, for us, is uh, you know just go out there and and, and compete. You know, yeah. we don't want to roll over for any team. You know, we know that we're going to be playing against um, you know top countries, and we want to we want to go out there and compete, and you know not not shy away from competition. Would getting out of the group stage be a a big goal? Definitely, definitely getting out the stage. I mean, you know, this is football, anything can happen, so you never know where you'll finish at the end of the day. I know you haven't been to the World Cup before, but also knowing that is a World Cup in November <laughs> going to be a little <laughs> bit strange, even from, you know, watching them or being a part of it to think, all right, wait a minute, I'm just three months into my season and now we're taking a break and yeah, usually the World Cup, you know, is around the summertime. But I guess uh, this time around, it's, it's in November. I mean, Qatar is, is, is very 
hot climate. So, I mean, in July, June, July, I don't think anybody can play football in that weather. So, you think it's going to be a little bit different than that qualifying game in Edmonton? Just, just a little bit? Yeah, just, just a little bit. Just a minus tiny. 20 to 120. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. so, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, three months in the season, you know, players are still getting, getting fresh. And to jump back into, you know, uh, country World Cup uh, competition, you know, and it's going to be tough. It's going to, it's going to uh, test a lot of players' mental and a lot of players' uh, skills. Cool. Uh, one last question that they... Thomas Mueller has got this little reputation of stupid dad jokes and being a little bit crazy. What's your experience? Are the jokes really that bad? Are they not that often, thankfully? Or is it just constantly in I your mean, face? For Thomas, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an uplifting guy. You know, he's a very um, exciting character. I mean... You know, his jokes are, for me, I mean, sometimes when he makes his jokes, they're funny. Okay. You know, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> you know, it's a little giggle. But, yeah, most of the times he makes jokes that, you know, are, you know, not really appealing to the crowd. But, you know, you, you hear it and you just, you know, one of those ones, you just, <laughs> you just yeah. chuckle a little bit. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.